What's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about 10 weird facts about Venom. Venom is one of the most popular Marvel characters of all time. Here are some of the weirdest facts about everyone's favorite anti-hero. Fact number 10. Venom was supposed to be a woman. Originally comic book writer David Michelini wants Venom to be a woman. The original idea was that Venom would be a pregnant woman whose husband was killed when a taxi driver ran over her husband after being distracted by Spider-Man. She would then lose the baby after going into labor then and there. This is obviously a far more tragic story than Eddie Brock's. But rather than the story simply being too tragic for their target audience, the reason behind abandoning the story was far more embarrassing. Then Marvel comic editor Jim Salas Krupp allegedly thought that a woman wouldn't be a viable foe to Spider-Man. Yikes! Fact number 9. Venom likes to eat chocolate. The Venom symbiote has a violent hunger for flesh and this isn't limited solely to non-human animals. With the Venom character being known for devouring people during his various adventures over the last few decades. However, one element from the 90s comics that helped to elevate uh, this hunger was chocolate. For some reason, chocolate is able to curb the symbiote's hunger for blood. Fact number 8. Venom can't lie. The Venom symbiote is hardly the most uh, moral of creatures. Over the years, audiences have seen the symbiote with the various different hosts, murder and mutilate countless people, sometimes even innocents. However, in issue 23, of Thunderbolts, it's revealed that the Venom symbiote is incapable of telling a lie. This is a pretty interesting to think about and makes interaction with the symbiote even more compelling. Fact number 7. Venom Scorpion's Diet. Eddie Brock and Peter Parker aren't the only Marvel comic character to have bonded with the symbiote. Famously, the Scorpion also bonded with the creature, resulting in one of the darkest and most bloody Venom stories of all time. This Venom leaned into a cannibalistic nature, with the creature famously claiming that he loved to eat as guardians. However, strangely, another favorite of this character was a squirrel. Fact number 6. Venom symbiote car. While Batman's Batmobile is obviously the most famous comic car and clearly necessary for the character of Batman to travel around Gotham, this hasn't stopped other comic writers from trying to give their uh, heroes branded vehicles. For some reason, Venom also received his own Venom mobile while Flash Thompson was the host of the symbiote. Venom showed that he can control cars as well as people, using the Venom mobile to smash through objects and structures such as walls. Fact number 5. Venom Tank Club. The Venom symbiote is one of the most resilient creatures in the Marvel Universe, with its only real weakness being fire and sound. However, it can also be cloned and this leads to one of the most ferocious fights between symbiote in the comics. In one comic, Venom's tongue was cut and later collected by the Ararat Corporation, who then cloned the tongue to create a new symbiote. After a battle between the two symbiotes, so the clone was reabsorbed by the Venom symbiote. Fact number 4. Venom symbiote like Spider-Man. It's common knowledge that originally the symbiote bonded to Spider-Man causing the black suit saga to take off. While Spider-Man would eventually manage to escape from the clutches of the symbiote, the Venom symbiote itself hasn't quite gotten over the breakup. It's because of the bond with Spider-Man that Venom has the spider logo on his chest, as well as the webbing and the ability to overcome Spider-Man's own spider sense. Fact number 3. Exiled from its race. The reason behind why the symbiote is often brought crashing to Earth in some form is very rarely explored, particularly in movies and TV adaptations. However, a reason for its exile from its homeworld was given. Essentially, the Venom symbiote was deemed unworthy to be part of the hive mind on its planet after the Venom symbiote was corrupted by the first host it bonded to. The rest of the Venom kind then exiled the creature into space. Fact number 2 enhances existing urges. Some may believe that symbiote corrupts individuals, making those who would previously be morally good, morally evil. However, this is not the case. Instead, the symbiote simply enhances those urges that the host already has. 
This means that all of the Venom holes have some deep set urges that are not placed there by the symbiote. Even Spider-Man's aggressive nature when hosting the black suit was part of him. Pack number one. That puts symbiote. For years it was thought that Spider-Man was the first host of the Venom symbiote. However, in Deadpool's Secret Wars, it was confirmed that the Merc with the mouse actually piped the webhead to the accolade. Deadpool bonds with the symbiote and, while initially being impressed with the costume, ultimately throws the suit away after he finds the symbiote trying to read his thoughts. Deadpool was worried that if it reads his thoughts, the symbiote would go insane.